Today in the grain market, the soybeans tank, that, that oil war just is squashing the futures. Uh, a new low yet again, and that big double digit loss is led by the soy oil uh, sell off. Uh, it, it looks like that these markets are really crumbling a little bit. The crude plunging of uh, the market has affected everything across the board. Now, uh, corn also gapped down. It was uh, like racing to extend last Monday's low, uh, which I didn't think could happen, but yeah, the market is proving me wrong straight across the board. That ethanol is uh, being pummeled by the demise of the energy market. And uh, last week, a uh, comeback for corn is completely gone. Now our eyes are just on the virus news and what's going to establish some stability and some certainty in the market so we can get a little bit of, a, of our footing uh, going forward. Now we're going to start getting USDA reports uh, coming up certainly tomorrow and uh, the WASDE report coming up, plantings at the end of the month. All these things are going to affect these markets. But right now, there's oh, the only thing we're looking at is this coronavirus. Now wheat was hit hard right out of the box. It it did have a 100% retracement. Uh, it was complete. But then what happened? The market rebound. We actually were higher on the day. The fundamentals seem to have had no effect on the markets, but the uncertainty is ruling the day. And now, you know, we had an up move. Now, Kansas City and Minneapolis did not get higher on the day, but they did come back a lot. Wild swings are definitely what to expect going forward. And I think that uh, the rising production levels uh, may sit on any significant uh, rally uh, as it stands right now. Uh, all things considered, with the first time the stock market has uh, hit those uh, uh, hit those uh, levels, those circuit breakers, and I think it kind of startled uh, everyone across the board. And that's why we're seeing everyone playing it very close to the chest. And uh, these uh, trades right now are not for the uh, weak at heart, but there's plenty of opportunities out there. And it looks like maybe some of the funds have liquidated some of their positions. That's not to say that these markets are going to completely uh, go any lower, but we're going to see wild swings are definitely part of the game these days and I, I to predict which way we're going to go from here is going to be a very difficult call.